The effort to bring the crew back to the surface safely, gaining international support tonight with France now sending a research ship to that area as well. It's equipped with a robot that it says can dive more than 13,000 feet below the surface. Our Chris Gilmore sat down with a local deep submergence expert today about the logistics of this complex mission. Offshore manager and salvage master Mark Martin is no stranger to the open water. It started with his career in the Navy aboard submarines and continued after he retired. Now I specialize in doing deep ocean salvage for the last uh, 15 years. That includes work with commercial submersibles. It's that expertise that offers him insight into the search for a missing submersible named Titan. It's carrying five people on the trip of a lifetime to survey Titanic wreckage. Titan went missing Sunday after losing contact with its partner research vessel. It launched with a 96-hour supply of oxygen. As of Monday afternoon, U.S. Coast Guard officials confirm the submersible vessel has less than 40 hours of oxygen left. You need to be fully aware of the risks that you're taking. And, and as far as I can tell, the people that were involved were. Among those on board, CEO of Ocean Gate Expeditions, Stockton Rush. The fact that Stockton was willing to um, make the dive himself, and he frequently did, probably instilled some confidence in, in the majority of the people who paid to go on, the, on those trips. Martin says with the daunting search and rescue ongoing, he's preparing himself for every outcome. I don't see any scenario in which we can get the required equipment to bring it up off the bottom before their life support runs out. Um, it's, you know, it's, it, it's a sad fact. Um, I know nobody really wants to, to think that. Everybody wants to hope the best. Barring a miracle, um, this, this is a recovery operation. In Palm Beach County, Chris Gilmore, WPTV News Channel 5.